Microsoft has officially announced Windows 11 and they are bringing a lot of great Xbox features natively to the operating system. So we got the official announcement for Windows 11 today, and it's going to be a brand new operating system that is going to be free for you to upgrade to at no additional cost. Now there hasn't been a release date yet, but if you have a Windows 10 PC, you're gonna be able to upgrade right to Windows 11. And they showed off some of the new features coming to Windows 11, and there's a lot of cool stuff, like it's being completely redesigned in the look and everything. They are going to be adding Android apps now for the first time to Windows 11. So that's very interesting because you're going to have the ability to access the Windows Store as well as download Android apps. And they are delivering better Xbox experience to Windows 11. So with the upgrade to Windows 11, there's going to be a bunch of stuff that is going to be added for Xbox and Xbox Game Pass. Starting off here with Auto HDR, which is a feature that we currently have right now on the Xbox Series X and S, specifically for backwards compatible games, games that do not have have HDR implemented on them have this new auto HDR feature that Xbox has created which gives you that look and feel of a game with full HDR and it really does enhance the way that these games look there is a big difference between looking at these games with auto HDR on and with auto HDR off so they are going to be adding in here saying auto HDR a unique capability we're offering with Windows 11 which automatically adds high dynamic range enhancements to games built on direct x11 or higher that previously only leveraged standard dynamic range and that's a great feature i mean i think a lot of people on pc when they see how this auto hdr works will be excited for this feature and will be happy that it is there and it's also just bridging that gap between what the experiences you get on xbox and the experiences you get on pc creating that one whole ecosystem where if, no matter where you're playing you're going to get pretty much the same great experience secondly a big one here is that load times and the speeds for gaming on pc is going to increase so right now with the Xbox Series X and S, there is velocity architecture that is powered by the direct storage technology, which really makes load times almost non-existent on the Xbox Series X and S. Very, very short load times, especially when you're comparing it to the Xbox One, which felt like every time something would load, it would take forever. But Windows 11 is now going to have the direct storage technology added. Saying here with direct storage, which will only be available with Windows 11, games can quickly load assets to the graphics card without bogging down the CPU. Now for me personally, when I'm playing games on my PC, I have an SSD compared to playing it on my Xbox Series X and S. It is still right now, I know my PC is, I built it in 2018, so it's a couple of years old, but it's still a way better experience playing on the Xbox Series X and S just for the load times alone. It, games just load so much faster on my Xboxes. But again, this is a welcome addition for PC and I'm excited to see if this really does make a big difference between how fast games are loading now compared to how fast they will load with this direct storage technology. And then finally, Xbox Game Pass. So right now with a Windows 10 PC, if you want access to Xbox Game Pass, you have to go to the Windows Store and you have to download the Xbox app as a separate app on your computer. Now, the Xbox app on PC, for me at least, has not always been the best experience. At times, they're slowed down, it freezes, and sometimes things just don't work. So it was something I always thought they needed to continue to look at and make sure that the experience on PC when using Xbox and Xbox Game Pass is seamless and that you're getting just as good of an experience on PC as you are as if you have an Xbox Series X S. And it looks like we're getting one step closer to that as they are going to be integrating Xbox Game Pass into Windows 11. Now it's gonna be completely built into Windows 11 so that you can access Xbox Game Pass and your Game Pass subscription a lot easier. What else is really cool is that they are going to be adding xCloud natively right into the app as well as the browser integration so that you can play pretty much any next generation game that you want no matter what hardware you have on PC, if you have an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, you're gonna be able to stream all of these games directly from xCloud. And here is how it's gonna work. It's just like the browser app right now. You're gonna load up your Windows 11, Xbox will be integrated. Now you wanna play a game through the cloud, 
you just click on the game, you press play, and then boom, you're going to be loaded into xCloud. So I'm excited for this. I can't wait for Microsoft to roll out Windows 11. Like I said, it is a free upgrade. I'm going to be trying to get it as soon as possible when they start rolling it out so I can test out all of the Xbox and Xbox Game Pass stuff and how it all works being built right into Windows 11. And it's just one step closer to, I think, Microsoft's goal with Xbox to have that big ecosystem where your experience, no matter where you play, is going to be the same. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this in the the comments below let me know what you think about windows 11 as a whole and specifically the integrated xbox features if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you are new here if you like what you see throughout this video i'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and help grow this community so we can have great conversations in the comments below thank you again for watching thank you for your support and i'll catch you in the next video